All clear. Clear on the left. Do it, we run wide. Do the Lewis Hamilton clear again an right. advantage. <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome back to the sim rig again after the uh, eventful last couple of weeks that we've had with the flood in the studio and everything that's been going on. It's the uh, first time I've driven anything since the flood, so it's been a couple of weeks since I've driven the sim at all, but we're going to be testing out a few things today, testing out the new update in ACC with DLSS, we're going to be testing out the M4 GT3 as well, and I've got to say, a big thank you to Acer Tech Sim Sports for sponsoring today's video too. So we reviewed or had a first look at their Invicta hydraulic pedals just recently. Really, really impressive. I'm actually running them right now. And they've got a competition running at the moment where you can submit your best ideas for the ultimate sim rig and go into the running to, uh, to actually win a set of Invicta pedals. So definitely check that out. Link down in the description. Big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. And we're going to be running a bit of a sponsored video series in ACC with them over the coming months, which I'm very excited about. Let's go through the middle here. All clear. Clear on the left. Straight up into the podium positions. Oh, we're run wide. Do the Lewis Hamilton and gain an advantage. <laughs> all right. I think we're all good. A little bit late on the brakes there. So as I was saying before all that chaos, we're going to be running a series of videos over the coming months sponsored by Acer Tech Sim Sports. And what I wanted to know from you guys is basically what you'd like to see. So going to definitely be doing it in ACC. But would you like to see us run through the 2021 series or what would you like to see? Is there any specific tracks you'd like us to do or yeah, basically just interested to hear from you guys what you think would be the most entertaining and interesting thing to see. Obviously, I want to sort of make it a bit of a series following me as I learn the ropes of the sim. I haven't really delved into car setup in this sim or anything like that yet. So it's, it's definitely going to be a learning process and a bit of a journey that I want to take you guys along for. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, but let's focus now on trying to get up here. Now, I've got to say as well, Really impressed with the uh, performance that I'm getting with DLSS. We're running triple 4K monitors here, so... 11.520 by 2160 native resolution. Obviously, the DLSS is scaling that. But it's looking way better than it did previously when I was running at 1440. Now, to run native 4K resolution on these displays... Let's see if we can get past him. Car on the left. Clear on the, uh, left. the inside, nice. Okay, let's get after these two. Yeah, to run this resolution without any sort of scaling whatsoever, I was getting probably 20 to 30 frames per second on epic settings, even with the 3090 and 11900K. So, goes to show just how performance hungry this, uh, this title is. But, now with DLSS set to balance mode, I didn't want to do a full video going through all the settings and everything, because I figured you know, not many people are going to be running triple 4K displays anyway, but if you guys do want to see, let me know, and I'm happy to put, to put something together, or I'll let you guys know the settings in the description or something like that. But basically, I'm running everything on either high or epic, and I'm getting between about 60 and 70 frames per second here with 11.520 by uh, 21.60 resolution and DLSS set to balanced. So yeah, really impressed with the performance upgrade. And I, I kind of expected, or uplift I should say, I, I expected that it would be pretty profound, just given that we were so GPU bound with this resolution previously. And I've seen quite a few other videos of people talking about the performance uplifts that they've had, but yeah, really quite something. It's made it playable whilst also be vis being visually appealing as well. So definitely a big step in the right direction. All right, let's focus here for a bit. As I said, I am just running the default setup, but I've got to say this car is 
quite approachable and quite compliant. It doesn't feel terrifying to drive at all. Especially compared to, say, the Porsche and the Ferrari, which are quite terrifying to drive. So what have we got here? A Mercedes and a Porsche in the lead by the looks of things. See if we can stay with these guys. Get on the throttle as soon as I can. You can see how the force feedback's kind of pulling me into the curb there as I run over the sausage. Now, one of the things that I've also done since the last time I did an ACC video is had a long chat with James Baldwin, who a lot of you guys would know as the world's fastest gamer. He's, uh, he actually drives in this series in real life in Jensen Button's team. So it's great to have the opportunity to have a chat with him. I helped him out with some issues that he was having with his triple screen setup. And in return, he asked me if there was anything that he could help me with. And I said, well, I'd love to know what your settings are in ACC for your Simicube because as I'm sure a few of you have heard, I've not always got along with ACC in terms of the force feedback with Simicube specifically. With Fnatic bases, it's always felt pretty good to me, but I've always kind of had this rubber band kind of feeling in the center spring with the Simicube bases for some reason. And so I dialed in his settings and it definitely feels a lot better. So I don't know whether, you know, what I'm feeling and what I'm experiencing now is a combination of his settings plus the new updates or whether it's more of one or more than the other. I don't, I just don't know because I've changed both things at once. And I was originally intending to do videos kind of covering both in more sort of, I guess, granular scientific detail, but because of the flood, never got around to doing it. But no, it's feeling really nice now. No notchiness around the center. The centering spring feels really nice as well, not too robotic and not, uh, not too rubber band like either. Very smooth, so definitely far and away the best ACC experience I've had to date, I would say. Easily. All right, let's try and stay with these guys. Starting to get a hang of the braking point now. All right, we're with them. Try to get on the power early again. Not the best exit. I'm gonna have to do better than that. Oops, oh dear, that's gonna be an off track. <laughs> Get a warning for that. Yeah, there's a warning. Don't think we're quite going to be fast enough to get the overtake done this lap. Bit of movement in the back end there, but still controllable. Definitely doesn't feel like it's trying to kill me. I think I'm shifting a little bit late as well. Definitely slower through that bit. Yeah, lost a chunk of time. Okay, we'll catch it up again. I'm trying not to screw up our rouge again. Oh, what's going on here? Come on, keep it on the road, boys. Keep it clean. Oh, 
We'll get up the inside of the Porsche here. Nah. Not quite. Alright, a bit closer this lap. Let's hope the dirty air doesn't make us lose all of our downforce. There we go, kept it clean. Can we get them both? <laughs> Oh, not quite. Not going to get past the Porsche. Car on the left. Be on the left. Oh, big twitch. Not quite. Where is he? He's not sticking his nose in. Nah, we're clean. I thought I was going to get them both there, but not quite. Now, is he going to run away now? He's not under pressure. Let's see. We do still have a little bit of headroom in the AI. I'm running 96 for this race, so may have to up it to 100 for the series. Didn't want to make him too fast. While I get my eye back in and get used to the car. He's getting away from me though. I'm gonna to have to get the hammer down. BMW versus Porsche. Oh, he's got a good exit. Let's see if we can get some draft. Definitely drafting. Don't know if I'm going to be quite close enough though. Not this lap. I thought about it. Oh, tires are getting a little warm, it feels like. Or maybe a little worn. Definitely getting some understeer. It could be the dirty air, it could just be overdriving the car. Back in, try to get away from me there. Let's take a second stab at the corner. All right, come on. Definitely a sloppy lap, this one. We're going to get a chance here. Car on the left. Still there. Oh. Be on the left. Jeez. Okay, we need to present the final lap down. Give it to him again. Car on the left. 
thread it down the inside. Oh, he's got a better exit than me again. We should be able to slipstream him here though. We're gonna stay behind him for now, not try to go side by side. Throw Rouge. Okay. Should be able to draft him. See ya. <laughs> All right, now I'm just going to try not to screw it up. Okay. He's thinking about it. That was pretty quick. Drop back a bit. So yeah, definitely need to crank the AI up again a little bit. I uh, underestimated how quick I'd be. Not that I'm fast or anything, but a little bit quicker than I thought I would be. But that's okay. He's still with me. We should be good here. Oh, he's under pressure from the Merc again now too. Where'd he come from? So there you go guys, a quick little race around Spa. Definitely a massive improvement with the uh, DLSS. And uh, yeah, quite enjoying the force feedback as well. So definitely keen to spend a bunch more time in ACC. It's something that I've been meaning to do for ages, but coincides with the new updates very, very nicely. And again, a big thank you to Acer Tech Sim Sports for sponsoring today's video and the upcoming series. Let us know what you'd like to see uh, in the comments below as well with regards to that series, what's uh, what you'd like to see me race, what car we should do, and so forth. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up there for today's video, guys. So thank you very much, and thank you as, as well for all the uh, very supportive comments that you've left over the last week while we've been dealing with the flood situation. We should be up and running again in terms of review videos very soon as well. We are going to have some disruptions there while we do some construction work, but at least we're up and running in the in the interim period while we're waiting for all that to happen. So thank you very much, guys. And I will see you again soon. Bye.